Now, millions of people from around the world suffer from various different learning disabilities, each varying in severity and the way it influences and affects the way they live their lives. Now, I personally suffer from a condition known as ADHD, and ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Now, there's a common misconception that individuals with ADHD cannot concentrate on one thing at a time and are very easily distracted. Now, as much as this is true for certain individuals, it doesn't manifest itself that way with all. Now, many people have a preconceived idea that ADHD is just an excuse for children to get away with unruly or disruptive behavior. Now, this can be quite offensive to people such as myself, as these people obviously don't understand what ADHD truly is. ADHD is a medically diagnosed condition, according to the United States Institute of Mental Health, and it affects the way people react to and process information that enters the brain. Now, ADHD doesn't make my life easier because I get benefits, help, or extra time. No, it makes my life harder, because I have to learn how to deal with it. I have to learn how to live with it. Now, I'm going to give you an example of what an average day in the person of an ADHD person feels like, right? So I want you to picture a big city, and I want you to picture an intersection, right? So you've got all these things going on. You've got buses, you've got cars, you've got people talking, you've got sounds, you've got all these things going on, and it's overwhelming, right? And I want you to imagine that sense of confusion and having that sense of confusion on a daily basis. Now, most people, within 30 minutes or an hour of being in that sort of environment, will eventually start to filter out all the white noise. And you'll start to concentrate on the reason why you were there in the first place, which would be the pair of trousers you were going to buy, or the fact that you were hungry and you were looking for a restaurant. However, the problem with people with ADHD is, is we don't have that filter. We can't just filter things out, and I'm just sort of going to explain to you what it's like. So, for normal people, people without ADHD, imagine you've got a filing cabinet, and you've got all these folders in that filing cabinet, and you've been tasked to file files into this filing cabinet. So let's say you get a file, and that file is a bus, right? It's the sound of a bus driving by. And what you do is you take that file and you put it in the designated folder. But when that file comes again, it's an identical copy, you look at it, but you don't register it as important information. You already have that file, so you put it in the trash. However, with people with ADHD, it's nothing like this. No matter how many times that identical copy comes through, you continuously file it. You're getting the same information multiple times. And that's why we spend most of our day going through this increasing pile of information. It's why we're difficult to work with. It's why we're difficult to understand. It's because we have to go through what information is coming through as fast as possible. Now, I want you to go back to that intersection. And I want you to imagine that feeling of chaos in a classroom environment. You can hear the lights buzzing. You can hear the fan whirring. You can hear the clock ticking. You can hear people scribbling with pencils on paper. You can hear people tapping. You can hear the wind outside. You can see and hear all these things, and it's confusing. It's why we click. It's why we tap our feet. It's why we make sound. It's to create order in this huge amount of chaos. And sometimes we just do it because there's a lack of information. We do it because our brain craves that information rush. Now, ADHD is, is sort of an umbrella term. There are many different types of ADHD. So the first type, you've got people who are extremely unorganized, people who are extremely hyper-energetic, you know, they don't know when to be quiet, they don't know when to calm down. And then you've got the people who are very calm. They like to relax, they like being by themselves. They're lazy. And then you've got the third type, and these people can be more aggressive, more conflictual. They tend to have things such as OCD, which is obsessive compulsive disorder. And then there's a fourth type, and the fourth type is a mix of all the three others. I'm one of the four, right? I'm the fourth type. I can be extremely unorganized. You can ask my teachers about that. 
I can be extremely energetic, and sometimes I really don't know when to be quiet. You can ask my parents about that. Actually, don't. <laughs> um, but then I can also be very calm, and sometimes I like to be by myself. Sometimes I like to sit in my room and just think, or just watch stuff by myself. And then I can be very conflictual. I argue with my parents, you know, quite a bit over small things. And again, there are certain things I have to have in a particular way, otherwise I don't feel comfortable. Now, I remember back in ninth grade, I was watching this YouTube video about a guy talking about his experience with ADHD when he was a kid. And I found that I could relate to a lot of what he was talking about. And I went to my parents and I told them this, and then through the help of the school psychiatrist, and through a lot of testing and questioning, I was eventually diagnosed with ADHD. And then through the help of my learning support teachers, my advisor, my parents, my friends, I was able to manage ADHD. And for example, my learning support teachers, they gave me stress balls, so things that I could squeeze when I could sense I was getting off task. Or I had this little buzzer that I'd attached to my, my trousers, and it'd go off every 30 to 40 seconds, and that would remind me that I need to concentrate on what's, what's important at that time. Now, ADHD is not a disadvantage. ADHD is something that we're born with, and we have to deal with it, and we have to learn how to learn with it. And, you know, people with ADHD shouldn't be discriminated, ignored, or made fun of just because of the fact that they don't function the same way other, people's do, other people do. ADHD has its pros and cons. You know, the pros, for example, for myself, I'm able to pick out smaller details faster than other people. And this is particularly good, especially with one of my passions, which is video gaming. I play a lot of video games. And it's extremely useful to have ADHD when playing competitive games online, because I can see things faster than other people. And it also helps, for example, when I do drama. When I'm on stage, because I perform on stage, when I'm on stage, and I see something that's changed, I'm able to quickly react to and change my performance based off of something minuscule. But then it has its cons, it has its negatives. And one of the main negatives is the fact that I disrupt other people, not intentionally, I don't mean to, but via my way of coping with the information, I can help distract other people. And yes, sometimes the cons over, you know, outweigh the pros, but at the end of the day, I've got to deal with that, and I've got to learn how to manage that. Because ADHD is something I was born with, and it makes me who I am. Thank you.